Hi guys, welcome to Night School, the playlist that helps you to improve Age of Empires 2. If you find this video useful, hit the subscribe button, have a little look around on the channel because there's loads of build orders on there that will help you to improve further and there's still some more to come as well. So um, today we're looking at the Fast Castle in tonight's build order. So it starts off with a standard build where your first starting villagers make two houses and go to sheep and then any new villagers that come out will go to sheep as well until you've got a total of six villagers on sheep so whilst that's happening just keep going around scouting your map send your sheep around scouting as well just to get as much map information as you can as quickly as possible so you know where all your resources are basically and your, your other sheep that you need to find for example so once you've got your six villagers on sheep send the next four over to wood and build a lumber camp don't take them off the, um, for these little what we call straggler trees just go straight to a wood line make a lumber camp uh, just because it's a lot more efficient and you'll get more wood so this strategy then it's sometimes it's quite a risky strategy to use on maps like Arabia which are quite open um, it quite depends on your your map generation because so basically what you'll need to do is to wall up your map um, it's to make sure that you're secure and you can carry on getting up to the castle age as quickly as possible without really having to worry about making an army in the feudal age so this map's not too bad for walling to be honest um, it could be a little bit better but it's not too bad um, so the reason why I say it's risky is because all the while you're trying to um, get up to the castle age your opponent might be making a feudal age army such as scouts or archers and come on the attack uh, so your next villager to come out is going to go and lure the boar and bring that back to your base so yeah they're going to come and uh, either scout rush you or archer rush you and if you've not walled up you're going to be in a lot of trouble even if you have walled up they still may get through the wall so uh, that's the best thing you can do really so this next villager that's just coming out is going to go to the berries and make two houses before going over to berries and then your next four villagers are going to go to the berries as well so the aim of this strategy the fast castle into knights is to basically get up as, as quickly as possible to the castle age and make knights and then go on the attack so you're going to be either looking at raiding their economy or you're going to look at killing off their feudal age army before they can get the castle age upgrades and uh, generally just looking at trying to slow them down really and delay their castle age time or at least hamper their economy for when they do get up to there so roughly when your food remaining on the boar is around 150 just send another villager to go and lure the second boar and bring that one back to the town centre Okay, so we've now got the five, on the five villagers on berries, so the next two to come out are going to go to boar. And what we're going to do is the two weakened villagers, so the ones who did the boar we were in, they're going to make two farms. The next one's going to come out onto the boar. And then the next six villagers are going to go to wood. And we're going to make a second lumber camp just so that there's uh, plenty of efficiency there as well in terms of the gathering. At this point you should have found all of your resources so just try and do some scouting and go and find try and find where your enemy uh, base is. So you can see at the minimum scouts up oh, there just stopped so you could, <laughs> could be scouting better. Oh it's on the move again. It should start finding the enemy base pretty pretty soon. Do remember to make another house otherwise you'll get population uh, blocked. And once that boar has finished, or well, pretty much finished, just start sending some villagers onto the sheep just to start collecting the food from the sheep. Yeah, the fast castle in tonight's build order is quite a popular strategy um, in some respects certainly at the lower levels uh, because you tend to find at lower levels there's not as much aggression in the feudal age 
so um, if you're able to pull this one off you should generally win uh, quite a few games to start climbing up that ranked ladder so we've got five villagers on that lumber camp now so the final villager to come out for wood is going to go to the other lumber camp just so we've got five on each lumber camp your next three villagers to come out are going to go to gold uh, make a uh, mining camp then we're going to get loom and then we're going to get the feudal age upgrade and advance to the feudal age As you can see on the map, mini map, I found where the enemy base is. And uh, you just want to start scouting around their base, try and find where all their resources are, where they're collecting them from. Uh, just so that when you go on the attack, you know where to target basically and uh, start attacking. So once your sheep start to run out, just start making farms with those villagers. Uh, in the, by the time they've uh, all finished, you should have a total of nine farms. Okay, so I'm going to speed the game up a little bit. Let me put it on the middle one. Not much is going to be happening at this point. Um, when you get to about 50% of the feudal age research uh, completed, you want to go and make a barracks. I think I'm slightly late with this one. So I send two villagers to go and do it, just to get it started. And then I'll send one of them back to wood. So the reason why we are making the barracks uh, now and before we get to the feudal age is just so that as soon as we hit feudal age we can get a stable down straight away and we're also going to get a blacksmith down as well. The next two villages to come out from the town centre are going to go to gold so that will give us a total of five on gold and as you can see the stable's coming down and the blacksmith is going to come down, there we go a little bit slow in doing so but uh, by the time those have finished building, these villages that we've created from the town centre should be finished and we can just click straight up to the castle age. As you can see we've got plenty of food and gold in the bank to enable us to do so. And as you can see at this point, just getting quite a decent amount of um, map information around the enemy base. So once those buildings have been made, just send them back to the wood. As you can see we've now clicked up to the castle age. Just getting some more houses down, as you can see we're at 30 population. So at this point you want to be start looking at getting double bit axe and horse collar as well. And then any uh, villages you've got once you've finished off with the berries, make two farms and then send the other three over to gold. So you've got plenty on gold and then you've got a couple more farms as well, that'll just give you the food production that you need. So you're going to want to also think about dropping a second stable, getting that made, just so that once you hit the castle age you've got two stables that you can produce your knights from uh, and get as many knights as possible as quickly as possible. So I'm actually a little bit late <laughs> dropping this stable as well, I think I probably want to start doing it pretty soon. But I've not got the wood for it either so just got to wait for that to come in before I can get the uh, stable on the way. So I'm just sending that villager into position to where I want to build it. See so, you now we've got the wood and the stable comes in. So I'll just speed it up. Okay so your next villagers that come out really you want to start making farms and perhaps send a couple more to, to gold but at this point it's just a case of starting to get knights out of your stables as you can see I've got four on the go now uh, and then when you've got enough resources start thinking of getting your blacksmith techs and also bloodlines for your knights as well just to make sure that they're really strong so they can go in on the attack. Generally look to get about around six knights um, to start off with before you go on the attack and then you can just keep constantly pumping out knights really at, at this point once you've got the economy sorted and then eventually once you've got quite a, a good economy going you're going to want to get bowsaw from the lumber camp and you can start thinking of making a second town, uh, town centre perhaps even a third if you want to transition into a bit of a boom but as you can see we've now got got five knights in the scout 
but there's more more knights on the way. So start looking at going on the attack. I'll turn the fog of war off. And as you can see we're going in. We know where the enemy uh, resources are. We can just go straight in on the attack. So this is played on the hard AI as difficulty. And as you can see the fast castle into knights uh, strategy is really quite effective against the hard AI uh, just because they leave themselves so open. <laughs> so it might be a little bit more closed off in a multiplayer game uh, but it should still be quite a success especially if they've only got palisade walls you can quite easily break, break through those with knights uh, and even more so if they've got a palisade gate you can really smash through those really quickly with the knights and hopefully get in and start raiding the economy. Like so. So quite a few villagers going down already at this point. Um, we've got more and more knights coming through and uh, that is pretty much it. So if you found this useful uh, do hit the subscribe button. As I say there's going to be loads more tutorials on the channel if you go on and have a little look. You'll find loads more strategies that you can master and hopefully start climbing up that ranked ladder in multiplayer. So um, that's it for today. Thanks a lot guys. Hope you enjoyed the fast castle in tonight's and I'll see you again soon.